Hi everyone, welcome to Clone Compounding, where our mission is to learn from others in order to achieve financial independence. Today, let's have a look at the business that has been hammered over the last two years as part of the broader China tech crackdown and is now suffering from several macro headwinds as well as national policy implications. We are talking about Tencent, one of the largest tech companies in China. Currently, it's valued at around 350 billion US dollars in market cap and has lost more than half its market cap over the last two years. So, is it a good investment at these levels? In this video, let's have a look at Tencent's financials, some recent market news, and latest valuation. Before we start, please smash that like button so others can find this video as well and do subscribe to get more updates on such companies. Let's dive in. Stock price. Let's have a quick look at Tencent's stock price over the last two to three years. You can see that Tencent stock price is down about 35% over the last one year and about 60% from its all time highs about one and a half years ago. In terms of valuation, it's currently valued at around 350, 360 billion US dollars, which is less than half of what it was valued about one and a half years ago. Tencent is a big investor in many, many companies globally. Its investment portfolio as of June 2022 was valued at around 90 billion US dollars. So effectively, shareholders are paying only around 250 billion dollars for the business. Business and financials. Before we get into the financials, it's worthwhile to have a quick look at the business. Tencent operates in several segments, as you can see, from social media to gaming to digital content to cloud to fintech. Let's have a look at some key updates from its latest earnings report. As you can see, there's a heavy focus on bringing costs down to improve profitability, close down non-core businesses, rationalize underperforming businesses, and reduce marketing expense by about 20%. Also, almost all of the internal services have been moved to Tencent Cloud that brings cost efficiency as well as gives them better feedback on their services. The headcount is also reduced by about 5,000, which is roughly 5% of their workforce. The company has launched some new initiatives to improve the revenue as well as improve the midterm earnings. Overall, the management believes that Tencent is positioned for a broader revenue upturn when the macro environment improves, mainly because of two reasons. The first one is that the regulations, the tech crackdown, is progressing from rectification to more normalization. So that should help Tencent. The second reason is linked to China's economic upturn. Approximately half of Tencent's revenue comes closely from China's economic activities. Think of payments, think of the cloud business. The management can also see that the commercial payment volume has been recovering into, high, into the high teens year-on-year -year growth, as well as the ad revenue decline rate has stabilized, which tells them that um, the situation is at least staying normal and not deteriorating further and is poised for potential upturn. In terms of the revenue, we can see that the revenue has been on a, a decline for the second quarter now. It went from 144 billion, 235 billion, and 234 billion in the recent quarter. The online advertising business seems to have taken the biggest hit, which is understandable in the light of China's national policies. Looking at the broader financial statement, we can see that the gross profit declined 8% year over year, but gained about 1.4% quarter over quarter. You can see the gross margins are roughly stable at about 40 to 43% with lower margins in fintech and business services area to about 33%. It's important to remember that this business still requires quite some investments, particularly in the cloud infrastructure. Looking at the free cash flow, it had a free cash flow of about 22 billion RMB, which is 30% higher year over year and about 45% higher quarter over quarter. Additionally, in the quarter, the company repurchased approximately 10 million shares also, a quick look at this at, at Tencent's website shows that in the last one month or so, they have purchased about 20 to 24 million shares. So there's a lot of buyback happening at these prices. Market news. Now let's have a look, quick look at some recent market news. One big news is of course about Prosus selling Tencent to buy back Prosus shares. Prosus has put about 192 million shares uh, to be sold on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. This will continue to put pressure on the stock price, that is Tencent stock price, while Prosus will be selling from one side, Tencent 
will likely be buying from the other side. We just showed that Tencent has been buying about 1 million shares on a daily basis for almost a month. It's likely that this buying will continue if the stock price remains low. Another piece of news that just came out is Tencent Music will be doing a secondary listing at the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. This is good news as it further reduces the risk related to delisting for Tencent Music shareholders. There was also the news about Tencent and Logitech releasing a new device for cloud-based game streaming. Here are some photos from this device and how it might look like. It shows the device might be running on Android, which is interesting to notice. Valuation. Let's have a look at Tencent's valuation. Tencent is trading at around 14 times trailing earnings. Last year's net income was about 225 billion RMB, while trailing 12 months net income is around 177 billion RMB. So that's around 23 billion US dollars. Current market cap is around 350 to 360 billion US dollars. It's important to note that this 14 times earning is the cheapest Tencent has ever been in the recent history. Of course, there are headwinds in the short term, but a business with 1.3 billion monthly active users and high margin revenue streams will continue to grow the net income over time. We are still in very early stages of consumer spending and cloud transformation in China. Comparing it to other big tech firms, Google's valuation is at around 19 times earnings and Meta's valuation is around 12 times. So it's priced somewhere between Google and Meta's valuation. Interesting to see that it's priced better than Meta, which has been hammered heavily in the last six months. From a forward earnings multiple perspective, Tencent is also valued at around 14 times earnings. So very likely earnings won't be growing much in the next couple of years. But the mode of this company is undoubtedly continuing to grow. Gaming business internationally will grow, payments will grow, personalized ads will grow, and cloud business will grow. Wall Street analysts are forecasting an average target price of about 450 Hong Kong dollars, which will put the 10 cents valuation at around 550 billion US dollars. To us, this business is at least around 500 billion US dollar market cap business, if not a 1 trillion market cap business in the next five to six years. For now, that's it from us. Hope you enjoyed this short update. Please smash that like button and be sure to subscribe to get the next videos. Thanks for watching.